Connections are a big part of working in cavalry and you'll frequently find yourself making them. The key color for connections is blue. Where you see this color, you can drag a connection. Here, we drag a connection from the scale of one shape to the scale of another. Notice the prefixes X and Y go blue when we roll over this attribute. Let's connect the position X on one shape to the position Y on another. Attributes you can't connect to get dimmed and the connection you're dragging will turn red. When you hover over an attribute that you can connect to, the end of your connection will turn blue. To disconnect two layers, click the connection indicators. This reveals a popover. Clicking the cross will disconnect and close the popover. Hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows to make multiple disconnections. Double clicking on one of these rows will load the layer settings into the Attribute Editor. You can make connections across windows. Let's connect this noise behavior to the scale of both of our shapes. For the first shape, we'll do this by dragging from the noise layer's output over in the scene window to the scale attribute of the shape in the Attribute Editor. Next, we'll do exactly the same thing, only the other way around. So this time, we'll put the noise in the Attribute Editor and drag from here into the scene window, selecting where we want to drop the connection from the resulting menu. You can even connect to a shape by dragging a connection into the viewport. Use whichever method you want, whenever you want. To make a connection to an attribute in a different tab, simply drag the connection over the tab name. The UI will then switch to that tab. There's a magic trick if you want to make a connection to multiple layers at once. Let's create two shapes in a fill. And then let's say we want to connect the fill to both of these layers at once. To do this, you need to select all the layers you want to connect to and then hold Alt or Option and make the connection as normal. So that means dragging the output connection from the fill to one of the destination layers and then clicking the attribute you want to connect to. As you can see, they're now both connected to the fill. It's a real time saver. Finally, in the last video, if you remember, we used the plus button to quickly add a deformer to a shape. For attributes without a plus button, you can instead right click. You'll be given a contextual menu, and you can then use this to quickly create and connect a layer. It's another great time saver.